Today I am going to put the finishing touches to the um, 13 and a half inch ash bowl which I turned in my last video. Um, the reason I didn't put it up there and then was because I felt the video would have been too long and it gave me a bit more time to experiment with various things. Um, if you remember, if you watched the last video, um, the, the bowl I finished sanding up to 600 on both sides, inside and out and didn't apply any sanding sealer or any form of wax or anything, just left it like that. Well, the reason for that was I thought possibly the finish that I'm going to apply or the method I'm going to use to get the finish on um, would have benefited from that, benefited from that. But in fact, um, it benefits um, from putting sanding sealer on. And I can't say too much, otherwise it'll give the game away. So I have applied sanding sealer to both sides of the bowl, inside and out, and denibbed in between each coat. So now we're ready to uh, proceed with this process. It's not, a, it's not a new process, obviously, but it's new to me. And um, very briefly, a guy called Colin King, who is a wood turner in uh, Dunstable, not far from where I live, happened to pop in one afternoon when I was cutting the grass. And um, I've never met the guy before, lovely chap and uh, he brought some pieces in from his van, he'd been to a local club that morning and he gave me an idea and um, it's basically his idea if you like um, but I'd like to share it with you and if the result is not perfect then it doesn't matter but it gives you an idea of what to do and you can play around and experiment and that's basically what it's all about anyway. Before we Go to do that, I'd like to give a shout out to a young lad who's only 12 years old and his channel goes by the name of Alex's Woodturning. He's got two videos up at the moment um, and I urge you to go across to his channel, subscribe, support him, comment, give him any suggestions that you may wish to. We need to, to nurture young talent like this um, because after all said and done, Young lads of his age are the future of this wonderful craft. So I urge you to go across to Alex's channel. I'll put a link down below to his channel and go and support the young lad and um, watch his videos and comment. Give him some encouragement. Okay, we'll go over to the workbench and uh, we'll apply this finish. Right, I'm over the workbench. Um, I've put some brown paper down, taped it down to the bench so that um, I don't get this medium on it. Uh, what you're going to need is um, your platter or plate or piece. What I've got here is um, just a lazy Susan basically that I use for spraying and various other things. So I'm going to put the, um, the platter on top of that so I can rotate it. And the next thing that you're going to need is a glue gun. Now make sure your glue is as hot as you can get it and literally from a height of about whatever height you find better start squeezing the glue onto the ball bowl in a completely random pattern Now the next stage is, um, in this instance I'm taking some um, chestnut ebonizing lacquer spray in a, in a rattle can. You can take any medium you like, <coughs> any colour you like. And literally, we take the uh, relative precautions regarding safety uh, breathing uh, when you're spraying. Um, I normally do it near the, near the door, but for the sake of the video um, I'm doing it here. Okay. And then literally spray the piece. So we are now at a stage where um, I have sprayed the ebonizing uh, spray over all the um, the back of the bowl and now comes the fun part. What we do now is peel away
although you can see the basic effect that this method achieves, <coughs> um, there's some very small pieces there which I'm going to get off. Now a point worthy of mention here is as the very fine strings sometimes can cause a problem too. So I find, uh, because we haven't put a finish on this yet, um, that if you very lightly take um, something like a scotch pad and lightly rub the areas where you've got those little very very fine strings um, that smooths up the surface you can feel where you've got a couple there and you can remove the majority of that um, again this is the first big one I've done actually so it's all a learning curve but I hope you um, get the idea with regards to the effect well, that you can the, achieve. Uh, the bowl uh, with one coat of wood wax 22 on. Um, obviously the options are endless. But I just thought I'd like to show you. It works very well. Uh, practice with it if you like and experiment and come up with your own patterns. But I think it's rather effective. Um, what I'll do is remount the bowl on the um, on the recess and just sand the edge to make it nice and crisp and put wood wax 22 on the inside and leave that plain. You could of course do exactly the same thing on the inside of the bowl, should you so wish. What I'll do now is sand the rim of the bowl to get it nice and crisp and then um, just apply wood wax 22. Just with a bit of 600. Okay, yeah, that's just about right. So now just wipe it off. Just now remember, we've got sanding sealer on there already. Just some wood wax 22 and just apply a light coat. Okay, I'll let that. Uh, Harden up a little bit and then I'll give it a final buffing, one more coat and then it the will be done. Um, I've left the inside plain, a couple of coats of uh, wood wax 22 and that's the back again with a couple of coats of wood wax 22. In fairness the um, ebonizing spray should be allowed 24 hours but I haven't left it that long um, just to be sure you don't get any lift off. But um, I hope you found it interesting and it gives you some ideas to experiment and inspires you to have a go. Um, I think it's a great method um, and I will be experimenting with colour later on and uh, different colours etc. And uh, see what I come up with. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, thanks very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.